Welcome back into another edition of FDU Trivia between the Fairleigh Dickinson University Florham and Metropolitan campuses. This week, we have the head women's basketball coaches from both campuses, Melissa Brooks from the Devils program, and Angelica Shumiwa from the Knights program. Starting off episode three this week, Devils head women's basketball coach Melissa Brooks. Mel, thanks for joining FDU Trivia. Hey, Coach Romo. Thanks for having me. Um, happy to be here socializing with somebody else um, and doing something competitive for the first time in a long time. But um, you should give yourself a point for getting Coach Ange's name right. <laughs> that's a tough one right there. I'm so pumped that you just said that. So since we're one point up, okay, going into this contest, I have to let you know that FDU Devils Athletics as a whole is one point down in the competition so far. So I don't want to put pressure on you, but at the same time, it's a great week for a comeback. Yeah, I, I kind of got a uh, wind of that at our uh, staff Zoom meeting that um, <laughs> lots riding on this one here, so. <laughs> All right, well, without further ado, let's get it started, okay? Question number one for Coach Brooks. Who was the top pick in this year's WNBA draft and what team drafted her? Rina Aniseko, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I-N-S-Q. Last name. And um, she played at Oregon and was drafted by the New York Liberty. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. And it is INSQ. INSQ. I can never get it right. Starting it off, those were both 0.5 questions. So you got one full point on that. Question two, okay. Staying in the WNBA. All right. Who was the first woman to dunk in a WNBA game? Oh, um... I feel like it has to be before this, but this is from my memory. I'm going to go with Candace Parker. That is incorrect. Oh, who it was is it? Lisa Leslie. Oh, see, that's why I knew it was like going to be somebody before my, my yeah. time there. So. Lisa Leslie. And when we were talking about that question, we were going to make it multiple choice and put Candace Parker on there. I know. See, and I probably still would have went with Candace. Question three. In what state is the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame located? Oh, geez. Why are you doing this to me? Um, <laughs> that's not Indiana, is it? Why was that not mul multiple choice? <laughs> <laughs> your next one, your next few are oh. going to be multiple choice. <laughs> what is it? It is not Indiana. It was Tennessee. Oh, gosh. It is located in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Question four. Who was the first coach? Excuse me. This is all of college basketball. Who was the first coach in either men's or women's Division I college basketball history to reach the 1,000-win plateau? Um, oh, shoot. Uh, it was a women's coach. It, is it um, – it's not – it's not – is it Pat Summit? It's not Pat Summit, is it? Is it Pat Summit? Correct. It is Pat Summit. <laughs> it was like the first name to come to my mind, but I'm like, that was, uh, again, like the timeline here. But... Bonus question. Ooh. On top of that, this is a bonus point, okay? What year did that happen? Oh, gosh. Um, was it 2004? Uh, no. 2009. Nine. Okay, now a multiple choice one for you. This is about Fairleigh Dickinson University. Great. Okay. What year was Fairleigh Dickinson University founded? 1940, 1942, or 1945? Um, that would go, that would go, I would go with B, 42. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, now, your last two questions, they stay in the Fairleigh Dickinson family, okay? <laughs> but they're about Coach Ange, who you're competing against this week. Okay. Prior to this season's win against Bryant in the NEC tournament, okay? I want to make sure I say this correctly. When was the last NEC tournament victory for the FDU Knights women's basketball program? 1990, 1992, or 1996? I'm going to go with B, 92. Yeah! All right! <laughs> And a fun fact about that game, they won this year against Bryant 57 to 43. And that was the first game 
since 1997 that was played at home for the women's basketball program in an NEC tournament game. They were the three seed this year. So pretty cool, which I hope we're doing next year inside oh. the Ferguson Recreation Center. <laughs> yes. Okay, last question bonus on Coach Ange. When she transferred to LIU Brooklyn, Coach Ange was a two-sport athlete. Okay. Besides women's basketball, what was the other sport she played? All right, this took me a little bit to research until I got to the bottom of the bio, but uh, she was a lacrosse player, which I would yes. never guessed. You know, from Poland and this and that, I just, that was not a thought in my mind, but pretty awesome for her. Coach Mel, fantastic job on your version of FDU Trivia. Uh, we'll see. Now, welcoming in to FDU Trivia, the head basketball coach of the FDU Knights women's basketball program, Angelika Shumiwa. Thank you. Welcome. I mean, I'm definitely excited. I, I'm hoping to represent the Knights in a good way. So I'm excited. We'll see. Question number one, Coach Ange. All right. In the 2020 WNBA draft, the one that just passed, who was the top pick and what team was she drafted by? That's an easy one. Sabrina <laughs> Ionescu. New York Liberty. Correct. Yeah, I think we gave you a layup to start. <laughs> Wide open layup. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, you pronounced it correctly compared to Coach Brooks who didn't, so maybe we should give you an extra point on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> right? All right, question number two. Staying in the WNBA, mm -hmm. who was the first female in the WNBA to dunk in a game? Lisa Leslie. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Correct. That I was still remember point. that. I still remember that. All right. Okay. What state is the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame located? Tennessee. Correct. Oh <laughs> yes. I, I, I got to tell you, I guessed that one. I was going to say, I have to ask, was that a pure guess or were you looking back? You know what? I had my little educated guesses. I had about three, well, two, and then I just went with this one, you know, Tennessee, women's basketball, you know. That was put fantastic. One and two together. Yeah. In all of Division I women's and men's basketball, who was the first coach to reach the 1,000 win plateau? Um, oh my gosh, I feel like I should know that. Was it Pat Summit? Correct. <laughs> okay. You are nailing it today. Well, I'm kind of, you know, I have my three choices. And then from that point on, it's kind of, yeah. Now, bonus question off of that. Okay. Do you know what year she reached that plateau? Nah, that one is going to be purely a guess. 2004? 2009. Okay, so yeah, I gave up, yeah. What year was Fairleigh Dickinson University founded? 1940, 1942, or 1945? Um, 1942. Correct. You did your research right away. A little bit, yeah. During her four-year career, Coach Brooks was a part of a lot of winning. How many games did she lose? 16, 13, or 22? Okay. I do know where she played. I know who she played for. As a matter of fact, I remember having a conversation, you know, about her college coach, uh, Mike McLaughlin, who's, you know, doing such a great job at, at Penn. I want, so I'm, again, I don't, uh, 13? Correct. There we go. I, I, I did read that one. So. And so now, uh, the bonus question so easy. What school did she play for? Holy Family. Yes, correct. <laughs> During Coach Brooks' career, her record at Holy Family was 116 and 13. That is amazing. That's amazing. amazing. All right. So now we welcome back in Coach Brooks from FDU Florham. We have Coach Ange already on the line. We're going to go through right. now the questions that we just asked these fine head basketball coaches at FDU. And we're going to see how they did today on episode three of the Battle of FDU Trivia. Hi, Ann. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Virtually. Good to see you too. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do it. Whatever. Right. I did my research. I got to be honest with you. I have, yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, let me ask before we go on to the next two coach Ange, were you playing women's lacrosse at mercer before you transferred there or was that just something you did when you went to liu um the second answer wow <laughs> well as mel said it is extremely impressive yeah that's imp it's very impressive you know what there's a lot of i found there's a lot of similarities in basketball between lacrosse so i was super excited yeah um it was i mean defense offense just kind of you know a lot of similarities so i, I love that mm -hmm. uh, the only thing i didn't like is that i really thought women's lacrosse was the same as men's lacrosse <laughs> it's not as physical it's not yeah, and no. i really did not like that because the whole summer i was watching men's lacrosse on tv at that time yeah. And I thought it was the same. And then come to find out, I can't hit people. I can't be physical. So, <laughs> but it was yeah. Well, extremely impressive. And to prove Coach Ange did her research, Mel, we asked her this. During Coach Brooks' four-year career, she did a lot of winning. She went to four <laughs> straight NCAA tournaments. However, we want to know how many losses did she have during her four-year career? Yeah. And she correctly guessed 13. And then we asked, what school did Coach Brooks play for? And she nailed it, Holy Family University. And she even gave background on your head coach. Oh, uh, yeah. He's great, isn't he? <laughs> He's awesome. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing person. So yeah. the final scoreboard, the FU Devils record five points, while the FU Knights record seven points. And was a perfect seven for seven. It is a <laughs> victory for the Knights. And overall, the, the Metropolitan Campus takes a three-point lead over the Florham Campus. Tough. Yeah. Let's go. I had a lot of pressure. There was a lot of pressure on me, so I had to, you know. <laughs> I have to say, and I've only recorded two of the three of these, but this has been a lot of fun, guys. Definitely. I've enjoyed it. Especially, like, even, you know, trying to research and and everything like that. It was, it was, uh, what a, what a lineup down the, down the road there, so. So, Thank you so much for having us. And this was great. And, you know, wish you all to just stay healthy, stay safe. And, you know, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. And thanks. We'll be back to, you know, how they were a month ago, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Absolutely. I echo what Ange said. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun, um, you know, learning up more about my counterpart over at the TNET campus. And uh, um, it was great to have this competitiveness. It's been a while. So thoroughly enjoyed it.